Hello everybody, my name is Poet Despondé, and in this video I want to kind of show you guys what uh, what we'll be building. And uh, so what I have here is, I have some, some images here, and in particular I have something like this. And oh, one thing I should mention is that some of these images are actually not mine, they're taken from um, a, on, on GitHub, uh, there's this uh, arnov.org, and so I've borrowed some images, so I should give credit where credit is due, and mention that these aren't really mine. Um, but I just want to sh mention that these are kind of the images that we'll be be working with. You know, and, and in particular, there's already you know lots of code uh, out there on, on GitHub. In particular, there you know people have actually already built images like this, and um, this is also by the same person, uh, Arnob.org on GitHub, and uh, what he's done is actually built this kind of training set of all of the cards in playing cards in, in a deck of cards. And so we're actually going to be using that to compare with our you know, new input here. And so, you know, we can compare these images to, to kind of our, like our training set here. And we'll be able to detect which cards have been selected. And we'll actually be able to see which cards. Uh, have have been selected, and so let me actually run this, and and we can see the demo. So when I run this, it's going to be really cool because, in just a second, yeah, there we go. You can see that. Um, what's really cool about this is if you look at the the title, it's actually representative of what card we're looking at. So this is a nine of spades, and we're looking at nine comma s for spades, or like seven comma h for hearts. Or eight comma s for spades, three comma h for hearts. So let's actually see if you know these are correctly being detected. So if I open up test, see we have three of hearts. Yeah, that's this one. We have our whoops. There's so many images here. What else? We have the nine. Or we have seven of hearts, which is this one right here. And then we have what? We have our nine of spades, and then we have our eight of spades. So let me find that that eight of spades. There we go, our eight of spades. And so you can see that we found all of our images. We we were able to detect the playing cards on the deck. And in fact, one extra thing that we did was notice how these are all nice and square. They're they're flat. You know that's not the case with these images, right? These are tilted. These are kind of at an angle. And so we'll also learn how we can sort of de-warp these images so that they look nice and flat like this and so you know from here this is where from here you can kind of go on so now that we've detected the cards this is you, know, you can take the next steps and once we have the card detection going this is where you know you can go forward with this use this kind of like a baseline for any other projects that you might use that involve uh, playing cards, for example, so it's a fairly really good uh, uh, detection scheme. And so, what we're going to be talking about, you know, in the next few videos is we were going, or, or I'm, I'm going to give you some code. First of all, I should mention that you know you don't have to code all of this from pure, from like absolute scratch. You're not going to have to do that. Um, I've actually have some code that I'm going to provide you guys, and then there's going to be we're just going to kind of fill in portions uh, of the code. In particular, uh, the the training of our model, we're kind of building like a, a really really small uh, machine learning model that we're just going to be using to compare. And um, you know, I don't want you guys to worry about that. That's you know, we didn't cover any of that, so I just coded that uh, up for you. But we'll, what we'll have to do is we'll have to um, build the we'll have to write the code that will actually detect this card and then do this deep warping thing so that we can actually compare it to what's what's in our model. And the result you'll see is going to be all of, you know, we can see all of these images here, and we get a, let me pull this up here, and we get a list of tuples where the first thing in the tuple is which, uh, what number it is, and the second thing is what uh, suit it is. So, you know, this is something that we're going to be building, and uh, I've already provided some code for you, and I just want to show you what uh, what it's going to look like. And you know the, you can use this as a, a kind of the base or foundation or framework for any other products that you're going to be using uh, regarding cards. But anyway, that's this is kind of um, the app that we're going to be building, 
and you know in the next video I just want to kind of I like I said I've written a ton of code for you guys to that we can just use um in in the next video I'm kind of kind of explain what code uh, is there so that you kind of have a better understanding and then you know we're off we're going to go we're going to go ahead and uh, build our our uh, app here and so on the next video like I said I just want to kind of introduce you to um the code that's currently there